Hey YouTube, it's me Monchichi and this video is a video response to Lubella Coyle's video Trying to Stay Natural. I'll put a link to, in the description box to her original video so you guys can check it out and kind of see what her response was and what the um, what the video is all about but I'll just give you a quick run through. Basically she received an email from someone that she knew from YouTube who had some concerns um, she was getting a lot of negative comments from co-workers or whoever about her natural hair and she was considering getting a relaxer because she was just being bombarded with negativity from other people and um, Lubella Coils um, touched on a few things like you know feeding your spirit and being around people that are going to feed your spirit and be encouraging and positive um, and being prepared to deal with that type of negativity um, and just making that a part of the journey and learning how to be assertive and put boundaries and etc. Um, like I said, I won't go into detail. Definitely go and watch the original video. But at the end, um, Lubella calls asked if anyone had anything additional that they want to add to make a video response. And so... Um, I just really had one kind of point to add um, that I hope will help this person and anybody else out there who whose main um, struggle is um, comments or perceptions of other people. And um, basically what I found to be true is basically something that I heard on an Oprah show a couple years ago. Basically she said whenever a person's negative comment bothers you is usually a ref just be is usually because it's a reflection on how you feel about yourself so um and that always i always took that to heart after she said that because um it, it can be true sometimes and sometimes we don't want to um admit that we feel neg negatively about ourselves or we don't want to think negatively about ourselves but sometimes we do have um, negative thoughts about ourselves and sometimes when someone else um, or other people say negative things to us we get defensive um, and sometimes it's because we kind of believe that what the person is saying is partially true and it's not um, it's not always a bad thing per se for with this example with natural hair um, sometimes it's hard to really be confident about your natural hair when you're first starting out because you may not know that much about how to care for your hair and so with the lack of knowledge um, that makes it very easy to you know get discouraged um, I always tell people you know if you have a concern about something you know get information on it read up on it and that usually will ease your attention about it the more you know you know the more you know about it the more comfortable you'll be and so sometimes with our natural hair we're just starting out we're just transitioning we we really don't know that much we haven't experienced that much and so the confidence level in as far as far as how it may look um we haven't gotten there yet and or sometimes we're struggling with styling our hair and moisturizing our hair and the bottom line to it is our hair might actually be looking bad and we will know that it looks bad but you know we're learning we're trying we're transitioning we're trying to or, or we have big chopped and we're just trying to figure our way out i know with me personally that was a huge um issue for me because when I was transitioning and when I first big chopped, you know, a lot of times it just was a hot mess to me. Maybe not even to other people. Some people would tell me my hair was cute and I'll be thinking, are you serious? My hair looks a hot mess, you know. But, um, you know, sometimes I think, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, you know, they're just saying that because they just don't know what else to say. Um, but I felt like my hair looked a hot mess. And so that's like a perfect example of what I mean. I honestly did not feel good about the way my hair looked and even though I 
may not have, you know, said it out loud to that person. Yeah, I think my hair looks a hot mess too. I may not have said it, but that's really kind of what I was feeling. And so if whether if a person says something good about my hair, I would say thank you, but I'm like, uh, you know, but then if somebody says something bad, you know, my feelings would kind of be hurt. Or if I heard that somebody said, oh, her hair is a hot mess or whatever, you know, my feelings would kind of be hurt. But it was more so because I kind of felt like my hair looked a hot mess too, you know what I mean? Now that I, you know, have learned so much more about my hair and how to care for it, um, I'm confident in, in how my hair looks. So if somebody says, oh, my hair looked a mess, I would look at them like they were retarded, like whatever, you know, it wouldn't even bother me. So I say that to say if if other people's negative comments are bothering you to a point where you are reconsidering your decision to go natural, you might want to self-reflect and say, what is really bothering me? Is it really that just their negative comment or is it the fact that their negative comment is reflecting my own personal feeling? Um. I think what it is is sort of like a scale, right? So we have on this side of the scale is our desire to wear our natural hair, right? And then on this side of the scale is, you know, our confidence level about wearing our natural hair. So when we first get started, we just, boom, we got this side down pat, you know, we got this decision to, we're going to go natural. But on this side, we're still kind of uh, about how good we feel about the way it looks. And that's part of the journey. That is a part of the journey. And this will eventually weigh more. You see what I'm saying? The Our confidence about our natural hair is eventually going to outweigh and have more weight than just the initial decision to decide to go natural but in the meantime let's say our confidence level is kind of in between or it's, it's a little less and as people add negative to that it just weighs it down even more it just weighs it down weighs it down and then next thing you know the decision to go natural is is off balance you see you know the negative they're negative on top of our negative feelings it just outweighs the decision so what you want to do is first of all really be confident build your confidence about being natural and the best way to do that is to really be like I always say secure in the reason why you want to go natural is it can't be of course because you want to please other people you have to make that decision and be confident in the why maybe you're not confident about how your hair looks but you're confident in the reason why you decided to go natural and what that does that puts a hold on the negative positive negative thing it just basically blocks that so no matter what negativity comes to weigh it down it can't budge it it cannot budge that it cannot budge it so you know when you get that confidence in your why and it puts a wedge on the scale that it can't move it doesn't matter how many negative comments you get you're so confident in why you were natural you can push through it it's not going to change you and so that's what i encourage the person to do and anybody else tell it like i say we had the same problem because i've been there also you know look at yourself and be honest and say you know what it's not really these negative comments it's the fact that i kind of feel the same way so you can deal with that you can you can address it you can address your own negative feelings about your hair that you may have and then you go back and you get solid in why you want to go natural and let that push you know that can override the negative feelings because eventually the negative feelings about how it looks that'll go away because as you go on your journey you learn more you do more and 
how your hair looks is going to improve because you're going to learn more about how to take care of your hair so i hope that helps um i hope that helps a young lady i hope it helps anyone else out there um and if you're watching this video and you hadn't seen Lubella Coyle's video again, please go and watch it. And if you have anything else to add, definitely make a video response to um, either this video or to the original Lubella Coyle's video. Alright, see you guys later.